Hi, I'm Howard Spence. I'm Eaton County Commissioner here in Delta Township. And today I want to share with you, my friends, uh, an occasion I had where I was able to witness and appreciate the generosity of one of our local corporations here in the Greater Lansing area, Jackson National Life, as they came to celebrate the opening of the Boys and Girls Club of Lansing uh, Jackson Team Zone. Uh, Jackson National and its employees generously gave several hundred thousand dollars to help build a 5,000 square foot facility in South Lansing for kids who needed a little bit of guidance and encouragement and a place to go that's safe and nurturing. And we certainly want to appreciate all of the corporate uh, uh, companies and entities here in the greater Lansing area, but especially today, Jackson National Life, for what I regard as being true civic engagement and dedication. Jackson National Life has their world headquarters here in uh, Meridian Township, which is also a suburb of Lansing. And even though I'm not a uh, commissioner in Ingham County, where uh, the uh, city of Lansing primarily resides, I do appreciate the fact that we here are a part of a region and that the kids there in South Lansing are very valuable assets and a good part of our future throughout this region, including here in Delta. And so thank you very much, Jackson National Life. I have celebrated along with them this occasion, and I wanted to share it with you in terms of some pictures and some video that I took. Uh, kudos to the uh, administrator at uh, the Lansing Boys and Girls Club. Uh, you'll hear from her in one of these videos uh, that follow uh, this introduction. And she has, in my opinion, uh, demonstrated the type of dedication, interest, love for our children that if it was shown in more places by more people, uh, especially in our schools, then more and more of our kids, uh, those who are at risk and those who are just looking for a better future, uh, more and more of our kids would have a better future that we could all be proud of and all benefit in the future. So I want you to enjoy this uh, video and to appreciate it and uh, uh, to express your appreciation to uh, Jackson National and to the Boys and Girls Clubs uh, of Lansing. Uh, this is the third time that I've had an opportunity to be at the Boys and Girls Club uh, for some event in the past year. And it really warms my heart to see these young kids uh, coming in off those school buses and uh, finding a place after school where they can, they can grow and be nurtured and uh, just have a good time, good, wholesome fun with uh, adults and volunteers that actually are interested in their future. So enjoy this uh, series of videos. Uh, I want to uh, also give a shout out and appreciation to uh, Mayor Verge Benero, who was the primary speaker today uh, at the Jackson National Teen Zone uh, celebration and ribbon cutting ceremony. Uh, we're proud of the dedication that he shows to all of the kids and all of the residents uh, not only in the city of Lansing where he's mayor, but out into the suburbs, including here in Delta Township and Eaton County where I am commissioner. So thank you very much. And if you didn't have an opportunity or won't have an opportunity to participate in encouraging our kids in the uh, Lansing Boys and Girls Club, uh, I hope that you will uh, look in your own community and do something uh, to help these kids our kids uh, have direction and a hope of a better future. And uh, out here in Delta Township, we expend a lot of energy and uh, uh, trying to get our kids to have great recreational and educational opportunities. And we also spend a lot of time getting them to understand that along with their blessings, uh, there is also the blessing of dealing with kids who may or may not be exactly like them uh, right here within our region. It's all a part of growing up and it's all a part of becoming a part of what I like to call our community. So please enjoy this video and uh, do something in your community. Be a volunteer, give a little cash, give a lot of love.
this project started off as a 2700 square feet building, a teen center, and uh, we went to talk to Danielle. Something modest, um, just so that our kids would have some place separate to go, our teens, to grow and feel like they're becoming young adults. Go into that next phase. Because of their generous donation and seeing beyond what we can see, we have a, almost 5,000 square foot team.
is just one of the most fulfilling things I can possibly imagine us being involved in. Um, and I have, I have to tell you, the, the, we, we were delighted to get the gift that we gave. Uh, I was even more delighted and gratified that our own employees came out of pocket and pitched in hundreds of thousands of dollars to top up the gift that we made. Um, and I will tell you that, that as gratifying as that is, um, for most of us that wasn't not difficult. We're a big organization and, and honestly I think there ought to be an expectation of companies like ours that, that we write checks for good works. Um, and that, that's certainly how we feel. We have uh, mayor interested in the state of point. Since we really began in 2007 our Jackson in Action program, I'm proud to say that as an organization we, our associates, have invested $22 million in this community. And as proud as we are of that data point, what I'm prouder of is that just last year uh, we donated 1,300 hours of volunteer time. dominant number of which I think come from Jackson over the years. We're very proud. Heather served for a very long time, chaired the board at one point in time. And uh, Carol Borger from our finance department serves on the board. And we've already called out Lane and Dennis, who have recently joined your board, both of whom not, are not just going to hopefully help provide leadership uh, on a volunteer basis to this organization in the years to come, but also, I know, play, use their unique skills to play a meaningful role in helping this thing come to life, so we're grateful for that. To me, the measure of, of the commitment to a community uh, on, the, on the part of any organization is its willingness to not just write checks, but of the willingness of its people to invest of their most valuable asset, which is their time. And I'm very, very proud of the gift of time that the people of Jackson make here and in other organizations in this community day in, day out, year in, year out. That's the, th that's the thing I would like us to do in terms of generosity. Um, we're very proud. There's, there's, there's one other of our associates here that I want to recognize, I want to introduce actually, and that's Jeffrey Mills. Jeffrey works for us on a part-time basis. Uh, he's a student at Michigan State. What year are you now? He's a junior at Michigan State, making good grades. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to steal his time, but he's going to tell you the story. But we're very proud of Jeffrey because he works for us because he's at Michigan State and because he's a graduate, an alum, if you will, of this organization and had an impact on his life. And uh, I know he's going to be very proud to tell you of how this place impacted his life and the road it set him on. But thank you very much again for letting us play a small part in a very big thing you're doing. Very excited to see the new Jackson Teen Zone. I walked in yesterday and I was like, I need one of those Madden computers. It's pretty <laughs> awesome. So I grew up just five minutes that way. Um, and I went to school at the White Ridge Middle School and I would walk 30 minutes down the road um, every day to come to the club. And it was, it was a journey. I liked it a lot. Some of my favorite memories um, at the Boys and Girls Club were winning basketball tournaments here. I have trophies at my home so I can prove it if I need to. <laughs> um, and another thing that I'm very um, proud to be a part of, I was one of the first students here to go through the Get the City program. It stands for Green Energy Technology. And Angie's here in the crowd, and she's the director of Get the City here at the Board and Girls Club, and she's also a professor at Michigan State. And so I'm just really thankful for Angie and all the stuff that you've done. Some more unique opportunities that I had here at the Boys and Girls Club. Um, when I was 10 years old, I sung the national anthem at the London Stadium with some of my friends. Uh, there's a picture over by the cake inside that you guys will be able to see. Um, I look a lot different than I do now, but I still have my dimples, yes. 
But yeah, so in today's society, we don't really talk about what it means to be a citizen of communities. Um, the Boys and Girls Club teaches us to be very responsible and very caring citizens. Um, and as Boys and Girls Club members, we feel very proud of where we come from because this is somewhere that we feel that we belong. Um, I think it's very interesting that Barry used the word graduate or alum of you know, the Boys and Girls Club because, yes, I haven't been to the Boys and Girls Club in a very long time, but this is somewhere I know I can always come back and feel that I belong here. So now we have some, a junior at Michigan State studying social work, um, and I'm also working part-time at Jackson as a strategic support associate. And I've worked for a lot of different companies, particularly the claims department. And so when people ask me what I like most about working for Jackson, I automatically tell them that I love working at Jackson because of the community. Um, we, being able to volunteer at Jackson in action, I've done it a few times, and it just means so much that we give our time. And I do believe that, yes, that time is the most important thing that we do have, and to give our time in our community is very important. The community at Jackson is very similar to the community in the Boys and Girls Club. We all care about empowering the youth for tomorrow. And I know I appreciated that a lot when I was younger. So whether you're inside the gym playing basketball, or you're a businessman or businesswoman with a tie, um, we all belong to the same community. And I'm so proud to call myself a past or graduate of the Boys and Girls School of Lansing and a member of the Jackson Associate Team. So I just want to thank you guys all for your support, your time, your money, and just pouring into this community here at the Boys and Girls Club. Thank you. Level 
at Jackson. And I see no Jackson Associates. You're right about the time, Mr. Chairman. And they are investing their time all over this city. I'm called to go to events all over the city. Some I'm able to stay for a few minutes uh, and actually, you know, actually do something uh, and other than talk. But when I get there, the Jackson folks are already working. They're already dug in at their workstations, investing and giving back to this community. So thank you for that. Thank you for investing the time and the resources. Uh, it, it, makes a, it makes a big difference. Uh, I, read, I saw an interview with uh, Anthony Robbins the other day, you know, the great uh, success and positive thinking guru. And they asked him, what does he do in the morning? To, how does he possibly stay positive in such a negative world, in a world with such polarization and so much negative, uh, so much uh, violence? How does Anthony Robbins possibly stay so positive and then spread positivism to others? And he said, it starts with gratitude. He said, I start every morning with 10 or 20 minutes. He has a whole regimen of, he sits and meditates on appreciation. He focuses on the things he is most grateful for. He spends 20 minutes in the morning just meditating on that for which he is grateful. I heard Barry talk about gratitude and uh, what a thing. How can you stay down? How can you be depressed about the future if we start off with gratitude? I'm grateful for you all, everybody in this room. One day I saw the board members recognize some of whom I know, many of whom I know, old and new. I hope one day to graduate to the board of the Boys and Girls Club. That's something that I can aspire to, so thank you for the example that you set. I hope I can be qualified one day. Thank you, God bless you for, for leading and providing the vision. Without the vision, what do we have? And now we have this wonderful thing. So since I guess I'm the only thing standing between us and, and uh, the celebration, I may get out of the way. But I'm just so excited that I'm bursting at the seams. There isn't a mayor in America that wouldn't like to be trading places with me right now. Uh, so only for us, uh, I get to be here. And uh, again, just I, I have that gratitude that, that uh, Mr. Robbins was talking about. I'm so grateful that it is a wonderful, generous community. Um, and that you choose to give back. There's a lot of things you could do, uh, but you've chosen to invest here. And most importantly, I have to just say finally, uh, because you're investing in our young people, they are our future. They are our future, and they feel it. When we believe in them, when we expect things from them, they will respond, and they will always respond positively. And so I, I'm, I think that Jackson is right on in investing its time and money in our future, in our young people. God bless you. Thank you so much.